Hey folks, I'm Josh Veal. I'm Randy Johnson. And I'm Seamus Young. So, last episode, while we were playing Mass Effect, uh, we got zapped by a beacon, woke up in the infirmary, had a bad dream, and Captain Anderson told us to meet him on the bridge. So we're gonna go do that. Although Ashley wants to talk to us. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. We can give her a we few minutes. We could use some good news right. after what happened to Jenkins. I'm glad a chit chat with a pretty girl Man. is more important than top Jenkins secret security stuff with group. the captain. Jenkins was really important. I fully if Jenkins was still alive, <laughs> Jenkins. I might not be here. Did we ever go back and pick up his body? Soldier, I don't remember doing that. Normandy. Thanks, Commander. Well, there's, you know, a few people I've left alive on the colony. Things were pretty They'll be able there. to, what, Are you okay? bury him? I've seen friends or, oh, they'll no, be happy to put Jenkins food. in a mass grave with everyone else. My whole unit wiped out. <laughs> and you never with all the husks. Civilians. But this would have been a lot worse <laughs> yes, if you hadn't With all the husks. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned we couldn't, to the He's Lord. right. We could not have possibly nice screwed up that mission without her. I think you're gonna fit in here. Exactly. Yeah, the beacon would still be intact. Alright, now that our pep talk with Ashley is done, we can actually get on to doing important stuff, like telling Joker to bring us into the Citadel of the Dock because I guess Captain Anderson can't use the intercom. Joker's too weak to reach all the way over and press the calm button, that's why. He could break a bone. I was able to do it in, well enough with uh, Nihilus. That was Caden to push the button. Oh. So this is another great cutscene. Launch the catapult. I do have to give uh, Bioware credit for making much more cinematic. They've grown in their craft when it comes to making cutscenes. They still make dialogue trees that go in nowhere, but their cinematic craft has grown greatly since, like, Kotor. Yeah. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension. Now that view of the citadel is a bit difficult to understand. Like I never, it looks like a big satellite for one thing, and you don't get a sense of scale because you expect it to just be a satellite. And you don't get a sense that those are cities on its arms until later. So yeah, I mean, I guess you get their cinematic craft. I, I disparage it. <laughs> I mean, you, you see it right here, and it looks pretty big, but. You don't really get a sense of scale until you're on it. Right. Yeah, I really got a scale for it once I walked around on site and realized that it was about two miles long and that was it. Once you go inside and it's about the size of a of an elementary school, the parts you can reach. <laughs> yeah. But it is And like an elementary school child, I still get lost in it every time. Here's a, here's a big beautiful city to look at, but we won't let you because this you'll just get lost like a dummy. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. Hey, it's our favorite character. The Turians don't found colonies. Why isn't he fired? Systems, ambassador. He is the greatest question. diplomat well, ever. He's always boiling with rage and Sarah? indignation. Just ignore a rogue spectre. Yeah, and will accept mad. nothing but everyone kissing his ass. Anything else and he gets mad as hell. Citadel security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will and if you are kissing his ass, he's hearing. still Not mad as hell. <laughs> You're kissing my ass is an outbreak! Anderson, I see you brought... I demand you stop it at once! Just the ground team from Eden Prime. Yeah, this is about half our crew. I have the mission. It's, it's all the people we can actually take anywhere. They are. Sounds Everyone else is like glued to their seats. They were not happy. Especially in Joker's Seren case. Is their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human. And now we start 15 well, minutes worth of bad stopped. dialogue. The council has to listen to us. 
Settle down, Commander. Needs to be stopped. You, you know, it's, I think it's important to remember that Commander Shepard has yet to see Prime was a chance to Nihilus. You could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus you mean his his Sarah, outrage is, was destroyed. Or, I'm sorry, That's Saren's fault, Sarah. not his. Then we, we haven't. We, the only reason the player has is because of the cuts. Otherwise, the council might. Be yeah, we have no idea who Saren is. Who are the specters? He's a floating well, squid. Me, Captain, I want to go over a few things before the hearing. You mean a spaghetti monster? Robert, you and the others can meet us at yeah. the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make a sure you're so pink outrage, spaghetti monster. Our outrage seems very out of place to me. Oh, it gets worse. So this is probably one of the most scenic areas in the game. As you can see, it's really huge. Uh, but well, in the interest of time and not boring everyone, as I walk around the entire citadel, um, we're just going to take the rapid transit. Which, considering we're about to be late for a meeting, is the thing that makes the most sense. We yeah. can talk to hookers and security people later. Although, I fail to see how you can fly a car into what essentially amounts to the Galactic Senate. You're not that flying seems... it, you're taking a taxi. Yeah, but a like... A taxi to have... that never moves except himself. when we use it. Give me more time. <laughs> Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation... The very first the alien you meet. Somebody yeah, he's gonna probably probably won't be important later. Commander Shepard. Hey, you have a funny kill. shaped head. You want to be on my crew? In of the Although actually, Nihilus was the first alien you meet. That really worked out well for him. Sounds yeah. Like hey, I just lost one of you Turian guys. You I don't want to join him. up. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the you know, rubs me the wrong way. Scales. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. <laughs> Maybe they'll listen to you, and you're no proof. Yeah, we we can totally bring down Saren with what we've got on him. I mean, I heard what? from this guy who may or may not have been crazy, and who was definitely sleeping on the job, that maybe the guy who killed Nihilus could possibly be named Saren. Oh, by the way, I hallucinated a lot on the mission. I'm totally psychologically fit for this guy. In our defense here, uh. How would that guy know the name Saren, considering he's a human? That is our only bit of proof, is that we know the name Saren when we should. Well, totally well we should, thanks. We should, thanks to the captain. It was the dumbest thing ever to bring the captain with us. Yeah, oh yeah. A man who has this blood vendetta against Saren, and we show up and accuse him with no proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter. A friend. That just let you catch him off guard. What do you Captain mean you don't Anderson. believe he's a bad guy? Look at how you red his hologram is. When humanity makes false charges against Emperor Palpatine's hologram was blue. Your point is moot. This must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. No, that was Ashley. She totally fucked everything. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. Fear so my faulty logic. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? <sighs> I I don't want any of these options at all. You know, one of the interesting things that I went through with this game is this Saren scene. Your outrage humanity. is really out of That's place, and your your and your accusations really do sound ludicrous. But my first time the through the game, and I think this happens in a lot of games, success. is that you just give the game There's a benefit no right of the that. doubt, That's and you assume that 
um, you're the one who's missing out. Like, oh, there was probably a conversation I skipped through, or a codex I didn't read that makes sense of this. Yeah. And it's not until the second or third time that you realize, no, wait, there really is nothing here, and I really am being a complete jerk for no reason. I think a lot of it comes from the fact that they're trying to display the human's disdain for the, the Turians. Because this is so close after the Great Turian War that I, the humans have this loathing hatred for Turians, and Saren just happens to be one. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence. That, that is true. I wish they had actually brought that up. They bring up Captain yeah. Anderson, but none of them ever mention. Oh, by the way, they just got done really killing a ton of us. I won't waste my breath. Yeah. And that is one of the most notorious. Uh, Dialogue the options right there that no we just went through. Of any connection between no Saren matter what you pick, you get the ambassador. Your petition to have him disbarred. Rage. I'm glad to see justice was served. So now that we um, have proven, or rather failed to prove, that Saren is guilty, can we go join him? Because this was terrible. Yeah, we're on the wrong side. We're with the dummies. Yeah. Good old fashioned Evil lawful stupid. Hearing, Evil will you always try him because history. good is the dumb. council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. Yeah, if, the if you had been yeah, this involved, is helpful, they, Cap. Colony we have is they would have been able to every look at our no evidence with a Even clear and safe. open mind. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. Even Earth isn't safe. Like, he has no idea what he's talking about. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouched. On the other hand, I we do need to love find that some way guy's to voice actor him. and his name escapes me right now. Captain yeah. Anderson. Hey, we finally decided to go get some evidence. You know, after we did our whole hearing. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? This is like we're going in reverse with this investigation. Down. His name is I mean, I'm no lawyer, but generally you're this supposed to investigate first, the job. then bring it to I court. I waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Yeah, the captain doesn't deserve better. I'll take care. He's been a disruption I for this whole process. Captain, He's cool and all, but really does not need to be on this investigation. Probably getting drunk at I like how his, his uniform looks like no other uniform that we see. Yeah, really. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. I mean, he's got so much gold braid, you'd think he's a flag officer. An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. I should go. The way this sounds, it sounds like you have the option to either go deal with the Shadow Broker or deal with Garrus. It's like in Neverwinter Nights when you have the option to deal with the Thief or with the uh, the Lawman. It sounds like you well, only get to choose probably, one. Since we're probably not going to go with the Shadow Broker at all, since that's not really a necessary conversation. Um, that actually leads into the Rex storyline, which kind of collides with this one. So we're going to go to... Just... What? I thought you just bump into Rex when you go to CSEC. You do if oh, you go there first. Oh, but that's not when first. he sign up. Right, right. Yeah. That's not when he signs up with you. That's just like, hey, I'll join your party later. So I don't totally remember if this is the case, but I'm pretty sure you have to talk to Harkin to get Garrus to actually show up. So, um, we're gonna go yes, talk to Harkin, him. Yes, Harkin, Harkin tells you to go talk to this chick at a medical place, and that's where you meet Garrus. Yep. Right. What the hell, guys? Why is it I know this? I'm the one that barely played this game. <laughs> Alright, use discussions. cover. Use cover. Saren's big plan to, to off you is to send a couple of incompetent assassins after you. Ah, seriously, you couldn't have sent, like, an army of well-trained, like, mercenaries yeah. or something? He's just got two guys. Just two guys to attack you in the open 
in public. Like, this is your least challenging fight in the Citadel, and it comes from your arch nemesis. It would yeah. be so embarrassing if someone actually died to those two people. Hey look, it's a cantina! These aren't in every Bioware game ever. Thank goodness aliens are attracted to Earth women, and they don't put their Back own off, yucky, this spiny alien down. women up Show there. Up. What are you waiting for? Hey! I'm standing right uh... This is I don't remember this conversation ever appearing in my game. Well, then again, I usually go to the Shadow Broker for a story. Uh, this story is just beginning. Yeah, this conversation, I believe, can happen either here or C Sec. Who knows? Let's just try. Well, we gotta we gotta go to C Sec. To It'll happen again in C Sec. This this conversation always happens if you go to Cantina first. Interesting. Boy, there are just you can so smell many ways it. through this. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. The biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. Like, we have to go talk to this drunk to Garrus find Garrus when we know where he works. First. Yeah. Why don't we just go to CSEC and ask for him? Is. This is like having to having to talk just to a criminal in order to find a cop. What the crap? That, you know, he says that the captain used to be a Spectre, but I get the feeling they retconned this later because very clearly after this, you are the first human Spectre at the end. The impression I got from the conversation was that it was sort of like he was a Spectre for one mission, and so they they sort of just pretended it never happened. Yeah. Well, the way I understood it is it, he was going on a mission like we went with Nihilus, where we weren't a Spectre yet, but, uh... But... It was a field test. Yeah, we had a... Yeah. We were going to be a Spectre if we did well on it, and then the mission got screwed, wait, wait, like, even worse wait, than Wait, I don't want to leave yet. I don't want to leave what? yet, guys. Over there, in the corner behind us, is a hooker that will give us a lap dance. Oh, yes, that's, but we don't have that's time for that right great. Now. You guys never let Conan get what he wants. Conan is a very important person. All work and no play makes Conan a dull boy. I like how you can get a lap dance from her. Not that I ever did it, but you can get a lap dance from her. Like, My ass. Well, the rest of your... <laughs> well, the rest of your crew <laughs> just stands there and waits. I particularly like hey, Ashley Shepherds, watching come on, you. It's, it's been a half an hour. But we should go. Like, how would you feel if your captain just made you stand there uh, and get a lap dance, particularly if your captain was not the same gender as you? Yeah, let's not go talk to the fanboy. Uh, the loading in this game is just terrible. You walk 20 feet and there's a loading screen. That was like the world's shortest loading screen. That's that's yeah, unnecessary. Look, look at this. Every twenty feet. So at least they're really short position. and almost unnoticeable. This scene is so easy to miss. Like I think I missed this my first two times through the game because it's just like I've never seen this scene before. And this is so crucial. This like shows you what those arms of the citadel look like. This gives you a sense of the place that you don't really get. So, that was fun. Um, so we went over and talked to that window, and... It showed us a view of the arms, which is also a loading screen for some reason, and then it spat me back out to standing here, except I couldn't actually see anything. Yeah, it was black for all of us. It was just black. It was rendering a black screen. Yeah. So, so um, we saved and loaded, and we're going to try that again. And they say the PC players don't get anything that the Xbox players don't. 
Well, it hasn't red ringed of death my computer yet. Is that your professional opinion, sir? Wow, that was strange. This isn't a station. It's really easy to miss that cutscene, and it's a shame because that's really crucial for giving you a sense of what this place looks like and is shaped like, and conveying to the player that, hey, those orange dots on the arms are cities. Because I never had that sense. I just thought they were like panels or like interior lights. I didn't get uh, a sense that this was a grid of buildings. It also establishes that none of these characters have ever actually been to the Citadel. Yeah, that's another important point, that this isn't just like a, a rest stop that they're always at. This is like their first step into the big galaxy. So this I love is this little part of dialogue here. To the old vids, we have this is karma want. paying back if for the terrible, terrible dialogue we just experienced in the council chamber. Sir. That will be enough, Chief. <laughs> at ease, Lieutenant. I can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn straight, you can't. Ready to move out, yeah, sir. Wish. All right, now we go and get on with important stuff like shooting dudes in the face. The only that's way what we we're all really here for. Investigates these uh, it, accusations against Saren is to go around murdering people. That's the only yeah, way we we'll exactly. get to the bottom of this. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! The council will be so much though. more willing to no, listen to us after we kill a bunch of people. Keep your mouth shut or we... Who are you? Let her go! Ah! And this is Garrus being badass. Like he is all the time. Wow, you shoved that guy so hard you leveled up. Yeah, really. Okay, so I'm trying to not get messed around with the cover and shoot the little thing in the wall. Oh my god, this pistol is so inaccurate. Yeah, I see you. You have that thing perfectly lined up and you're not hitting it. <laughs> there we go. And I noticed it didn't kill those guys. Yeah, it only poisoned them. It did poison them. Well, naturally, a medical bay is going to have these little ta explosive tanks of poison laying around. Perfect I know my shepherd. doctor does. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get... You know, this is really just Garrus being a nice, humble person and proving how much better than you he is. Thanks to you. You Very just much. blundered into his investigation, drew your gun, and damn near got that woman killed in the same second. And Garrus salvaged the situation and then complimented you. Keep me from telling Garrus about the yeah. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. Dr. Michelle, I think it might. On the L and no e on the end. She'd been shot. Doesn't even know. He's just wandering around. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. I would be very interested in knowing Fist how you know that. Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren it's must have made him called he asked Fist and Fist went, No, no, I work for Saren. See, look at my card. Something worth crossing. <laughs> he crossed out Shadow Broker from his business card and wrote <laughs> Saren on it. Anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she did the quarry, Actually, he did. The, the Geth were on his business card. Any, did she give you any plot Saren exposition at all? There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren. And There's get that no business way, card. I'm coming with you. There's oh, no hell way yes, you're coming the council us. could ignore these you know, we aren't the only ones our word against exist. his. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. Kind of like a dog comes in handy. That's exactly how that sentence sounded. We brought Rex in for a little talk. 
If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Like Garrus is keenly aware of where everyone else on the station is. He is good. Yeah. So are we going to replace Caden with Garrus, which would be my choice? Yes. I think yes, that's a good are. idea. We've already got biotics in the fact that Josh is a vanguard. So Some saying that nice. he made a nice shot gives me renegade points. This is great. It right, was a um, nice shot. I think that's about 30 oh, no. minutes. So that was that's a okay. That was a renegade thing to do. You didn't you didn't challenge the man to a duel. You just ran in and started shooting. Clearly, you're evil. If that was all Renegade was, and it wasn't all this insane stuff, I would be totally going for Renegade all the time. So, um, I think we've about hit 30 minutes here, so... Um, let's call this episode, as we approach the Elevator of Doom. Fair enough. Why do you call it the Elevator of Doom? I don't see Mount Doom anywhere around here. Do we have this a ring? The, uh, I, rather than liken it to Doom, I would liken this to Purgatory. Oh, uh, what the? Wow, Garrus was not there until he just... <laughs> he was off investigating Saren. Alright, um, so... Catch us next time. Well, we go and take down Fist. And have ourselves a little bit of a bar fight. So At least they're really short and almost exactly. unnoticeable. This scene is so easy to miss. Like, I think I missed this my first two times through the game. Because it's just like... I've never seen this scene before. And this is so crucial. This, like, shows you what those arms of the Citadel look like. This gives you a sense of the place that you don't really get. I love how it shows you a loading screen during the conversation. And then the screen yeah. goes black for some reason. And by, for some reason, you mean <laughs> you can still move around. I can see you moving. I think we're bugged. Uh, yeah, my screen is black. I, oh, there we go. Uh, nothing's rendering for me. This is great. I'm so glad we went and talked to that window, guys. That was, <laughs> God damn. you know, I think this worked a lot better whenever I went through and missed that window. Um, so, <laughs> this is the options menu. This is exciting. Hey, you guys want to spend a half hour looking at this? I would just so like to say that Conan wouldn't have blacked out like this if he'd gotten a lap dance. Okay, here's what we're going to try. I'm going to save and then load and see if that fixes it.